Hey y'all, Crescenda here. This video is just going to be me cutting out this crochet hair. This hair has been in for 26 days and it's really limp now and pretty raggedy. It's gotten really matted and tangled. I'm always cutting pieces out. I would just cut that out right there. You see, it's like stuck together. But I really enjoy having this in. I never thought that I would get into crochet until I started seeing suggestions pop up on my YouTube feed. And I was like, that's actually pretty cute. And I'm okay. I'm one of those people. I don't want to look crazy, but I'm okay if you can tell that it's crochet. Because if I don't have to do my hair for almost a month, see these braids, okay? <laughs> the hair lasted okay. I mean, it did pretty good. Um... It was really tangly. I never washed my hair while this was in. All I did was spray my hair with the leave-in conditioner and I never twisted it up or braided it up at night. I put on a bonnet and I went to sleep, took it off and shook my head a little bit and fluffed it up and that's it. So now I'm just ready to take it out because it's raggedy and I'm ready to try another crochet style. So if you wanna see me cut this crochet hair out for the first time keep on watching I'm gonna start by showing you an up-close look at my hair and the crochet hair from a distance it doesn't really look that bad but you'll see from these clips just how raggedy it had gotten would you look at this it's stuck together it's tangled it's matted and it was definitely time for it to come out I have two other videos that go along with this particular crochet hair. One of them is the end saw and the other one is how I cut the hair from 18 inches literally all the way down my back to this length. I'll be sure to link those in the description box. Overall, I did like this crochet hair. It did get tangled, it did get matted, but it is synthetic and I literally did nothing to the actual crochet hair. I didn't retwist it at night, I didn't spray anything on it. I sprayed leave-in conditioner in between the braids just so that my hair my actual hair didn't get all dry but other than that I put a bonnet on at night I took the bonnet off in the morning shook my hair fluffed it and that's it the curl pattern was great and it was a good first experience even though it took me forever to crochet the hair into my head thing just lift up right there yeah it's time for this to come out it was really cute now on to removing the crochet hair to start I took big chunks of hair and cut it really short after that I went back in and cut it even shorter you want to cut it as close to your real hair as you can but please don't cut your actual hair cutting it as short as possible really speeds up the removal process This clip is in real time, but I'm going to speed it up. A quick tip, you'll probably want to wear a shirt with sleeves, short or long. I'd probably go with the long because those little tiny fibers get into your arm creases where your elbows bend and they are so pokey. So now that all the length is gone, here I'm going in and cutting it even shorter, as close as I can to my actual hair without cutting my actual hair. When you've cut the hair as short as you can, it's pretty easy to get the hair out. 
Some only require the slightest tug and others will need a little more fiddling around, but overall the process is really easy. Since this was my first time doing crochet, I tried a bunch of different knots and I'm sure that is why some of them come out with just a little tug and others need a little more time. Literally, you just grab the knot, the top of the knot, and pull. Grab the top of the knot and pull. If it doesn't come out, you just, you know, feel around and it will literally just slide right out. Boom, boom. You see how easy those came out? Like, some of them literally just need the slightest tug. And then this one took a little bit more effort. But overall, super easy. Real time clip. We're done. So taking out all those little pieces took about 25 minutes. I had eight packs of hair in my head. So that's not bad at all. It was pretty easy. I did have to cut like some of the pieces a little bit shorter. But other than that, it was very simple. So I thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.